Hallo mijn suspects, aspects zijn hier en welkom terug bij Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, we gaan verder met de vorige keer. Waar vorige keer. <coughs> waren wij gebleven bij het lezen van Sayuri's poem. Dus dat is wat wij gaan doen. Hij heet Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my de dreams. Dreams. Little balls of sunshine. Oh, ribbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put, in a bottle, I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles. All in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Something my friend feels a certain way. Down comes the bottle to save the day. It's impressive. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper where fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle cap ca caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Dit kun je echt lezen met een dikke beat, maar dat ga ik dan misschien ooit eens een keer in een funny moments video of zo, waarmee ik bezig ben. Misschien dat ik daar ooit eens een keer dit in ga zetten met echt een dikke beat eronder. Ik weet niet. Dit zou je echt, dit zou je kunnen rappen. Finally, you're gonna open up and come in with my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want, do they want my bottles that much? I have practically put them down in front of the shelf. One after the other. Holding them down out to make each and every friend. Each and every bottle. Fuck, that rhymed not anymore. Okay, wait, let's go back. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like the same loss. My fuck. Okay. <clears throat> I blow the fuck. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time unless my empty shelves are used somewhere. My friends will look my fuck. Bye now. Okay. Ah, uh, blow the fuck. I uh, blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time unless my empty fresh are used somewhere. My friends look through my locked up front door. Fuck me. Cut. Ah <laughs> uh, man, dat doe ik wel eens keer in een voiceover. In ieder geval, finally all done. Open up and come with my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I finally pull them down the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shadows against the title between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They, they're all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap. Sir, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday that I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but you know, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. I've become pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Don't don't get ahead of yourself. Oh fuck. Sirius always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times? But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay everyone, we're all done reading each each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned for today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. I'm gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sarah has always... Uh, Sarah has been working on posters. I have to sign some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P uh, Monica? Yeah. 
yeah, if we're going to be having a poetry performance, each of us are going to ch choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So you're just putting it on all po on all the posts in any in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Fucking hell, I can't actually lazy. Siru has been coloring a poster. Holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an, of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But... But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never am allowed to do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys... No, so Yuri. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared a poem with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite the poems out loud to a whole room of full people, full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then we'll inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being being intimate with yourself. And it thinks of a bitch or something to no good. What would he eat? He got an X. Finding new horizons and having fun, that's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same things that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes... And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem... Then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. So Yuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that's Yuri... Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help I help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Nasuke doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I just ha have to get over it. Get it over with. Alright, phew. Thanks, Nasuke. What about you, Yuri? Yuri the genuinely glances at her... She is really the young... She is really the young of the style. Of the style, of the, of the team. Dat is echt niet om derde persoontje. Saai. Ik guess I don't really have a choice. That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. The club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, so Yuri. But anyway. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to, we're going to practice presenting them in front of each other. No way. Monica. This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no, don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through a notebook to specific poems she has in mind to, for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting a poem. A clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her reflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Something she's done before? Oh, is this something she's done before? Or is she simply unnatural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayuri looks amazed. He raises an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica faces the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go, yes? to go next, Sayuri? I'll go next. Oh wow, Yuri's, <laughs> Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. <laughs> I can't even win a hele slechte grap van maken, maar die hebben we al genoeg gehad. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each one of us. You can do it, say Yuri. It's called... After image of a crimson eye. Jesus Christ. Yuri's voice shakes. And she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? 
as Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens to Yuri when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns, and a structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. Oh. Yeah, that's best I could add. This might be a rare glimpse into her whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her. As if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me after and gives Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not, really... it's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we're... But we were caught, caught so off guard we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Yuri hops out of a chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> so, Yuri. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? You're trying to think of it like you're reciting it to, to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best way. I see, I see. Okay, then. So here begins your poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayuri is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read it on this paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayuri's voice almost it gives it a whole new meaning. That is talent. That is echt. That is echt talent. Maybe this was here meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I know I. I thought I knew it through and through. Sayuri so finishes. We applaud. I did it. Good job, Sayuri. Even Daniel liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Came out nicely, Sayuri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with this. With that kind of delivery, I don't really understand. Oh fuck! In other words, I've been, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, in progress and a kind of thing. It's just embarrassing doing it in front of everyone. Then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time for the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki. Hmm. Don't make me go before Daniel. Okay, then I will go, God for the dumb. Then when I will the pussy destroy it here. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. But have they young depressed or so? What the fuck is this? Is it the Doki Doki Depression Club? <laughs> Might as well let let Daniel lower everyone's standards a little before after the. Whoa! You bitch! That's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I'll recite my poem. Krijgt iedereen nog steeds niet te zien? Ik bedoel, ik heb alleen maar de woorden gekozen. Ik wil de hele poem zien, weet je. Since I'm not exactly confident in the moment, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. So you're not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Something that'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The, the poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting? Hmm. Anyway. The poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts presenting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. When she's still a little unenthused, un her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She yells back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You've been, you better not make me do th do that again. Ah oh, well. 
Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I could put it on whatever face I want for the for other people. But when it's just with my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, this is just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. Coming through. It might be hard, but I know that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. <laughs> That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write a poem for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nice so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this, I can do this. Alright. I stand up. I somehow will be able to find the same enthusiasm as you say over in Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. Suck up on them. If it's, if it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayuri? Yep. Look, look at you two. I was going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Jeez, guys. They're making such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Daniel. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I'll come with Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today's year is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey Sayuri. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayuri focuses with her words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of a question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. No, for fuck's sake, they fucking mean you need. I thought that this game was with not really good choices. This is just more than in The Walking Dead. Nou, okay, it's not really in The Walking Dead, but I understand what I mean. Jesus. Uh... Sayuri. Sayuri. You really think I would date you for Yuri? Huh? But... She's so beautiful and smart, jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Daniel. You, you, you think about me too much sometimes. You don't deserve it if she wanted it, so... Say Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trials off. It's kind of... Weird thing that Sayuri for Sayuri to care so much about. I don't want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that in that time? Hmm. Okay. Is this for the festival or for the volgende dag? Zeg maar. Laten we nu proberen voor Yuri te gaan. Nature. Fuck. Imagination. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Gelijk de meisje nu werkt die ook op. Lol. Suicide. Okay. Lipstick. Fuck. Cute. Fuck. Peace. Fuck. Cover. Yeah. Summer. Fuck. Boop. Fuck. Unstable. Peaceful. Doki doki. Ah! Grief. Breathe. Poof. Fuck. Mouse. Sweet. Bliss. Uh. I think this is a beat here, it's really cool. Hell yeah. Where is this remix? Will you go have a death? Dude. Play. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. 
Don't worry, I just walked in too. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. You must have a lot of determination. Selling this club and not picking a piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't all for you. If it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Why are you complaining about it just the other day? Here? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school. We're all going to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You said a bit like cereal all of a sudden. <laughs> Monica, do you usually have fried squid? <laughs> That is fucking lekker, ten eerste. Dat is fucking lekker. En ten tweede. <laughs> kan echt niet. <laughs> Dit is hilarisch. Do you usually have fried squid? Squid? It's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Why are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people. I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? Because it's right in your name. Man, Ika. Huh? That's the highest amount of- Who's it there squid in? Man, Ika. It's just a case of Japan or so, I don't know. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our event for now, okay? Fine, fine. Reactions aren't as fun as Yuri or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayuri anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayuri is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayuri. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? Huh? Spacing out again. Ah, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everyone hanging alright? Of course. W why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayuri so shows me a big smile. I'm fine. Do you see? Don't even distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright, if you say so. I worriedly glanced at Sayuri before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she has noticed anything about Sayuri recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Daniel, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Can't say I haven't noticed it. Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Natsuki, who is ill dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Daniel. You certainly know a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. Okay, weet je wat? Ik ga even zeven. Yeet. En ik ga hier bij de episode eindigen. Als jullie dit leuk vinden, vond ik jullie altijd te blij dat je mogen doen. Hopelijk komt de volgende episode van Doki Doki's No Online. Aangezien ik niet echt een schema heb, zeg maar, welke game ik op... Welk... Zeg maar, welke game ik wanneer upload. Maar ja, dat zien we wel. In ieder geval, tot de volgende keer bij een nieuwe aflevering van Doki Doki. Doei!